Welcome to the EasyLift Rescue System's how-to guide for using your system to carry patients up or down stairs. The purpose of this brief tutorial is to provide you with some basic training and tips that will help you reduce back injuries in your department by guiding you to better techniques for moving patients when it is required. The most important part of lifting is to use your head. Think before you lift. No matter what the task, pause for a moment to make sure that both you and your partner are approaching it in the safest possible manner. Before you lift, make sure both you and your partner are ready to lift properly. Check to make sure that you are both in the correct position and have a plan of what you are doing and where you're going before you lift. Use four people whenever possible for safer lifting and make sure you know where you're going before you lift an immobilized patient. Lifting properly begins with making sure your feet are in the proper position. Just as you never see a power lifter simply walk up and lift the weight, you should make sure you're in the right position beginning with your feet. We call this rooting your feet to the floor, making sure your feet are shoulder width, flat, and your heels are down. There are times when we just don't want to get close to that guy on our backboard, but for you and your partner to stay safe, you really must stand as close as possible to the object being lifted. In the case of the Easy Lift Rescue System, the handle should be between your knees. For a traditional spine board, your grip should be between your feet. We suggest a palm up grip no matter what kind of spine board you are lifting. This is called the power grip because it helps you keep your shoulders back and your back straight. At all times, keep eye contact with your partner. This will ensure you are protecting each other by checking each other's position, and it will keep you from looking down and loading your back as you lift. As you lift, brace or tighten your abdominal wall. This will help support your back as you lift straight up. Whenever possible, use four or more people to carry the Easy Lift Rescue System. When carrying the Easy Lift Rescue System, make sure you keep your hips forward. Leaning your upper body forward will increase the load on your back. Keep your head up to watch your partner and where you're going. Allow the leading person to stretch the carry. It should almost feel like they're pulling you along. Again, when possible, use four or more people to carry patients. When carrying patients on stairs, the upstairs responder should use the Easy Lift Rescue Handles in the extended position. The downstairs responder should use the Easy Lift Rescue Handles in the retracted position, like a traditional spine board. To get into the correct position, carry the patient until the Easy Lift Rescue System hangs off two to three stairs, and then set the system down and retract the handles. This position will allow you to keep your back and arms straight and walk down the stairs at a measured pace in a natural, safe position, while still keeping the patient relatively level. Always use a member of your crew as a spotter downstairs to guide the carry. It is safer to use three people to carry and the fourth as a spotter to ensure everyone's safety during the carry. On the stairs, the upstairs responder acts as the brake making sure the pace is measured and consistent. Always keep your hips forward, eyes up, and watch where you're going, and allow the leader to stretch the carry, almost as if you're being pulled gently along. During the stair carry, you will often have to deal with obstacles like turns. In these cases, keep as many hands as possible on the Easy Lift Rescue System during the turn using the oversized handle grips to ensure your safety and the safety of your patient. If possible, use the stair rail or banister as a pivot point to take the load while turning. Take your time in these situations. Rushing a turn is always a bad idea. At all times, make sure you are in complete control of both your patient and the Easy Lift Rescue System. Practice. Real-world training is critical to developing the skills and habits you will need to have a long and injury-free career. Always use your Rescue Randy or a similar weighted training mannequin when practicing any activity with your Easy Lift Rescue System. The system behaves differently when it is loaded. Don't take shortcuts even when training. Doing it right every time you train will ingrain good habits 
and get you and your partner on the same page when those crisis days happen. Remember, the more time you put in and the more focused you are, the more you reduce your risk of injury. Easy Lift Rescue is also committed to giving back and we'll give you a $30 credit toward your Easy Lift Rescue system when you recycle your old backboards and we'll pay the shipping to get them into the hands of somebody who needs them. Because the only thing worse than not having an Easy Lift Rescue system is not having a backboard at all. Your Easy Lift Rescue system will arrive loaded and ready to use right out of the box. Every purchase includes our Think Before You Lift ergonomics training, training posters, and online video training. Specialized ergonomics training is also available to help you get the most out of your back injury reduction program. Thank you for your time and attention.